In the world of aviation, there's one constant. Bigger is better. But there's a point where bigger doesn't just mean more space or power. It means pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Some aircraft have reached such extraordinary proportions that they challenge our very understanding of engineering and design. From the giants that transport massive cargoes across continents to the war machines that defy all expectations, these are the aircraft that have changed the way we view the skies. At the heart of these legends lies a story of ambition, innovation, and sheer human willpower. What's truly remarkable isn't just their size, but the sheer effort it took to get them airborne and the breathtaking missions they've been designed for. Let's dive into the most colossal aircraft ever created and let their stories unfold. The Antonov. And 225 Mariah picture this, a plane so massive it could carry an entire space shuttle on its back. No, this isn't some far off vision of the future. This was the Antonov and 225 Maria a name that translates to dream in Ukrainian, a fitting title for an aircraft that would forever alter the scope of aviation. When it was first conceived, no one could have imagined the true scale of the project. Over 275 feet in length, 59 feet in height, and with a wingspan that stretched over 290 feet, the Maria wasn't just a plane, it was a skyscraper in the sky. And it wasn't just its size that took your breath away, it was its power. We're talking a maximum takeoff weight that exceeded 1.4 million pounds, roughly the weight of more than 100 elephants. Its payload capacity, over half a million pounds. But the Maria wasn't designed to just impress with its size. It was designed for a specific purpose, to transport the Soviet Union's Buran space plane. When the Soviet Union first began planning their space program, the Buran was meant to rival NASA's space shuttle. And so, the Maria was built a true marvel of aviation engineering, capable of carrying the burn on its back like a giant bird with a delicate egg. When the Maria first took to the skies in 1988, it was a sight to behold. The world watched as it carried the burn on its back, a moment of pure technological triumph. But with the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991, the Buran program came to an abrupt halt, leaving the Maria to find a new purpose. In the early 2000s, the An-225 found a second life in commercial transportation, becoming Antonov's workhorse for delivering goods that once seemed impossible to transport by air. From transporting tanks to massive wind turbine blades, the Maria proved that the sky was truly the limit. It was more than just a cargo plane. It was a living testament to what humanity could achieve. In 2010, the Maria made history by transporting the world's longest cargo, two wind turbine blades each 138 feet long. And even during the global COVID-19 pandemic, it played a crucial role in delivering medical supplies to countries in need. But despite its many accomplishments, the Maria's journey came to an end in 2022. In an unfortunate turn of events, the aircraft was destroyed by Russian forces during the conflict in Ukraine, leaving an indelible mark on the world of aviation. The Antonov. And 225 may be gone, but its legacy will live on forever. The C-5 galaxy moving from the civilian world to the military, we meet another giant, the Lockheed C-5 galaxy. This military cargo aircraft isn't just one of the largest planes ever made, it's also one of the most vital pieces of US Air Force equipment. Since its first flight in 1968, the C-5 has carried more heavy loads than most could ever imagine. At over 247 feet long and 65 feet tall, the C-5 is a massive aircraft. With a wingspan of 222 feet, it dwarfs nearly every other plane in the sky. And then, there's the cargo bay, a cavernous space that's over one foot longer than the Wright brothers' first powered flight. The C-5 was designed to carry enormous loads like tanks and helicopters across continents. But the true beauty of the C-5 lies in its role. This aircraft has been the backbone of US military operations for decades, helping to transport everything from military tanks to emergency equipment, wherever it's needed. The C-5's capacity is so immense that it can carry 50-ton Abrams tanks or Boeing CH-47 Chinook helicopters, moving them from one continent to another with ease. One of the C-5's more unusual feats occurred in 1974, when it dropped a Minuteman ICBM at 20,000 feet during a test. Throughout its service, the C-5 has been part of nearly every major military operation since its introduction, from Vietnam to Iraq and Afghanistan. It was even the largest aircraft to operate in Antarctica, a testament to its versatility and resilience. 
despite its age, the C5 isn't retiring anytime soon. In fact, it's getting a facelift. The C5M Super Galaxy, an upgraded version with new engines and avionics, will continue to serve well into the 2040s. And while its fuel consumption has earned it the nickname FRED, short for effing ridiculous environmental disaster, there's no denying its importance to military logistics. The Boeing 747-8 When you think of a jumbo jet, the Boeing 747 is likely the first aircraft that comes to mind. The 747 has defined commercial aviation for decades, but it's the 747-8 that truly pushes the limits of what's possible in the air. The 747-8 is an engineering masterpiece, over 250 feet long, with a wingspan that exceeds 224 feet. With a maximum takeoff weight of 987,000 pounds, it's a true giant in the skies. But it's not just about size, it's about the experience. The 747-8 incorporates the latest aerodynamic advancements, allowing it to glide through the air with unmatched efficiency. But the 747-8's legacy isn't just about passengers. This aircraft has also played a crucial role in the US military particularly with its modification into the presidential aircraft, Air Force One. Its ability to carry and protect the President of the United States has solidified the 747's place in history. In 2015, the 747-8 was chosen to replace the older Air Force One planes, bringing the latest technology and security features to the presidential fleet. And in 2020, the first of five 747-8s was sold to Korean Air for further modifications, continuing its legacy as one of the most iconic aircraft in the world. The XB-70 Valkyrie The XB-70 Valkyrie was a plane ahead of its time. Developed in the 1950s, it was designed to fly at speeds greater than Mach 3 and soar at altitudes of up to 70,000 feet. With six engines and a delta wing design, the Valkyrie was a truly unique aircraft, built for one purpose, to be invulnerable to the interceptors of its time. At 185 feet long and with a wingspan of 105 feet, the Valkyrie was an engineering marvel. It could fly faster than any other bomber, reaching speeds that no interceptor could match. But it wasn't just speed that made the XB-70 special, it was its ability to withstand the intense heat generated at those speeds. Its structure would actually expand by 5 feet due to the extreme temperatures. Unfortunately, the XB-70's story didn't end in triumph. Despite its groundbreaking design, the bomber was too costly to mass-produce, and the advent of more advanced missile defense systems made it obsolete. Still, the Valkyrie's legacy lives on in the aviation world as one of the most ambitious projects ever undertaken. What do you think? Which of these aircraft do you find the most impressive? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more amazing stories like this. Thanks for flying with us today. We'll see you in the next one.